doing my emails, sending some emails around the world. This is another email that I'm just... Huh? What's that noise? I wonder where it's coming from. Is it over here? I don't know. Is it in? I know it's somewhere around here. I can hear it. Here it is. This is what I'm looking for. This is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Check out www.battleshipcobra.com for more information about me, including my crystal reports for SAP Business One and SQL for SAP Business One courses on Udemy. They're online, self-paced, and they're not very expensive, especially for the amount of content that you get. They're video lectures, and you can go from basically knowing zero to being you know, at a great level with either Crystal Reports or SQL. So if you've ever wanted to make your own reports or queries, check those out. If you like this video, like it. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Join the notification squad by clicking the bell. I make weekly videos, Mondays, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's jump into this guide. I'm excited to show you guys. Let's do it. Okay, so of course my book and my little treasure hunt, uh, that's just a prop. We're talking about a PDF here, of course, not a real physical guide. So you can see here, the guide is from 2008 for the 2007A version. You might not even have heard of that version. Let's just take a zoom in right here. Not sure what's going on there. But if you scroll down, you're gonna start seeing, here's a table of contents, blah, blah, blah. Overview of the MRP process, right? Very simple, straightforward explanation. It has a lot of graphs, examples, and you'll see explanations of all the different fields. This kind of breaks down the different things that go into the MRP process, what is uh, put out of the MRP, and then, you know, obviously equals your final, uh, final inventory included in the process planning. Scrolling down a little bit, it gives you, I'm not gonna go through everything obviously here, order interval so just simply if a weekly interval is chosen MRP issues the necessary orders no more than once a week grouping all of the recommendations for a current week into one order seems simple but even for this procurement uh, make buy you can see there's examples linked here and we'll show those a little bit later too scrolling down defining warehouses netable I'm like what it, what was netable I was just looking through this guide again if the checkbox is deselected, the warehouse appears in the list of warehouses in the MRP wizard, but MRP does not select it automatically. So it's like, what does the word netable mean? I didn't even know that until I'd seen this. It's like a lot of these fields have just been lost and uh, nobody had really documented them. So, you know, it's kind of not something that we know about. I know it's, it, it is in the help guide, but it might have been something you had been confused about before like me, I just never looked it up. If you look at the defining forecast, it's very similar to what, it, you know, the MRP system now, it hasn't changed much. I mean, people complain about it, but you know, thousands of people are using it all the time. It does what it has to do. The information in the MRP is, you know, you can't really simplify it anymore. And as you can see from this guide, this kind of demystifies quite a bit of it. So. Forecast is the same, like 2008, this is just as relevant as it was um, back then. Something like this, consume forecast or not. I mean, I, kn I didn't know this existed or was even an option. So if you have something that's kind of like an unusual order, maybe like a special order project or something, you can have this set on the row and then it won't consume from the forecast. Lots of little tidbits of information. Reading through this is uh, very useful. Consumption methods, authorizations, and then you get down to these scenario detail windows. So I'm gonna compare and contrast a little bit what's in SAP now, and we can kind of see what it talks about. Obviously this book doesn't have all of the new options, but it still has a lot of the critical options, and it still gives you kind of explanations of some of those fields that are still there. Let's pop open, eh, modules, MRP, MRP wizard. So this is where it starts. Again, this is not really a training for this. Let me just put this here. Um, you know, obviously you can get the guide. I'm not gonna go through everything. I, I honestly don't think, I think the individual components are complex, but I don't think the MRP is that complex. I think uh, it's basically a garbage in, garbage out situation. And if you have all your ducks in a row and you've experimented with this, I can only ever say to experiment with it. People ask me like, 
oh, like I have one sales order and then the sales order goes from here to there and then there's something over here and that. It's like, it is impossible for me to create that scenario. So you just need to test it. And part of that testing is this guide and reading through it and doing your own testing to understand it and isolate like a scenario, put it in a test database and then try to figure it out. So here's my training example next. So I'm gonna go plus 20 days. So let's see here. Description. So this is pretty pretty similar, pretty similar stuff. So you can kind of run through and see all the descriptions of what's in there, how to do it, all the different little pieces and things there. I'm gonna just do it for purchase items next. I'm just gonna do roses. Shout out Cambrian. Okay, so we're just gonna do a company level. In the newer versions, you can do a warehouse level. So in this one, you can only do a company level uh, back in 2008. So there's new stuff there, but still it's, you know, most of the things are, st are still there, okay? So back to here, we're gonna run this at a company level. Next, there's a, there's a bit more inputs and outputs here. I don't think this covered too much of it. Data source, yeah, it was all in this one window. So now we have a lot more options for including or excluding data. You know, not really something that needs a lot of ex uh, additional explanation. Run. Okay, so here's kind of where the magic sauce comes in. You can see these different colored fields here and you think like, yeah, this, this doesn't make much sense, okay? I, I don't really don't get it. But if you go into the guide and you scroll, see it says white, dark gray, light gray. Scroll down, scroll it down. Besides all the extra explanation, white, light gray, and dark gray. It explains it and it gives you examples. This is new. This is just the beginning of the examples too. This isn't all of the examples that it's gonna give you. So it explains all these different colors, white, light gray, dark gray, and everything. But look at how much, how many examples it has here. Example of a production bill of material, parent, child, grandchild, lead times, charts here of exactly what it's doing. It has more information about each individual part, more examples of where things go, information about the pegging uh, form. I don't think it's called that anymore, is it? Yeah, I guess it is, pegging information, okay. So you can see here in the report that you have your roses, you have your supply, your demand, you could break those out, see what it's gonna recommend, and you can see the demand, where and why in that week you need that inform need that particular quantity. So it I I really honestly think, you know, and then obviously if you were gonna miss these lead times, there's much more highlighting. I really think that. It's, it's a good way to view things. You just have to get used to it and you have to kind of trust that what is in the system is correct and work your way towards having a clean inventory system. If your inventory is garbage and your everything isn't being tracked properly, obviously you can't use it, but you know, get better, right? So again, from this, I, I've saved the recommendations already and I'm gonna say finished. You know, it goes on and continues and it has recommendations, more information about it, how to create orders from the recommendations, how to work with various things. It has some more information here on grouping. So if you had modules, MRP, or recommendations, I'm gonna to go to my training scenario, check that out. So even in the form settings, you can see document, you can consolidate the recommendations here. And from here, you could just choose to do what you're gonna do. So create, change it from an order to, uh, or a purchase request to a purchase order, what the item is, unit of measure, you have your prices, what vendor you're gonna use. If you had a default vendor, then you would be able to put that there. You can fill that down in here. Uh, price, if that was set up too. A lot of this, I just don't have set up in this in this demo system. So um, it has a lot of things in there and this this guide will show you. So we're, we're doing all this other stuff. And then you're gonna see more examples, examples of consumption for these make and buy models of multi-level bombs. It's got detailed descriptions of the levels, what's happening with the calculations. It's got cumulative lead time examples, and it's got so much stuff in there. So it's really worth checking out. Again, if it's something that you don't really understand that well, pick up the guide, 
go through, set up some stuff, do some testing for your own business, you'll see that it's a very valuable guide. So you can get this guide for only one payment of $99.99. You can send me cash or PayPal. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. The link is in the description. You can download it for free. I wouldn't do that to you guys. So I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you very much for checking out my videos. Again, this isn't the most detailed training on the MRP, but that document can do an amazing job, especially if you're just getting familiar with the MRP. Pick it up, just download below and enjoy. Check out www.battleshipcobra.com for all my other stuff, including my crystal reports for SAP Business One and SQL for SAP Business One courses, online self-paced, not very expensive, check them out. If you like this video, like it, if you want to see more videos, subscribe. Check out all my other videos. I have uh, playlists. I have tons of other videos, lots of stuff on B1UP, lots of random topics. I have a podcast. Check it all out at battleshipcobra.com or youtube.battleshipcobra.com. If you want to get in touch with me, go to linkedin.battleshipcobra.com and uh, send me a message. Obviously, I can't answer every single error message question or whatever, but I'll do my best to reply to you and just say hi or whatever. Or say thanks for the videos. That really helps me to keep making them. I make weekly videos Mondays, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And thank you again for watching. It's Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra. Oh, bye for now.